Everything you know about stress is wrong. It is literally designed to empower you, yet you don't know how to use it or calm yourself down when necessary. We all know about the old techniques which don't work because they all miss one thing, which we'll discuss in this video. So understand, stress is a state where you respond to a challenge, which can often be a life-threatening situation like, say, meeting a tiger in a forest. Your brain and body prepare you in emergency mode, quote-unquote, so that you can fight or flee from this threat. But of course, in today's world, instead, we unawarely see things we don't like to do or find unfulfilling like work in the same way. Because of this, your brain and body are always in emergency mode. This is where chronic stress happens and it can literally kill you, bring many diseases, or produce endogenous opioid peptides that mimic the effects of morphine and heroin. That's why you're trapped in a cycle where you deal with a bad situation, cope for temporary relief, and then realize the problem isn't gone. However, there are two things I must point out. First, stress is the effect of your perception of the stressor and then of the stress itself. This doesn't mean that you'll be fine if you just tell yourself it's all gonna be okay, like your brain knows you're lying. Second, stress is not solely about life-threatening situations but also about being prepared for any other challenge like societal ones. It's still uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's like when you're having courage or um, um, whatever. <laughs> These two things mean that you have to change your mindset about stress, acknowledging that it's always meant to prepare you for challenges and to figure out how to deal with the root of the issue, i.e. the stressor. For many, it can be the fact that work is not fulfilling no matter how big the paycheck is, and you can either figure out how to make it fun or just take another path yourself since most people just follow what they're being told. But it can also be e.g. an annoying person and you can deal with it with some CBT journaling and thoroughly answering what am I afraid of along with some imagination to realize that this threat quote-unquote is in fact just in your mind the same thing just happens when you try something new you always exaggerate how difficult or bad it will be that's negativity bias so just do the thing and see what happens like trust me just it always happens when I try something new and I don't know I think it's gonna be hard but it turns out it's not as hard as I thought it to be. And even if you are in a traffic jam and get stressed, just change your perception again. It's okay for this to happen and figure out what to do with this problem, especially if it persists. Now that you do these things, don't expect to get calm instantly. It will take a few days to get back to normal, but if you want to speed up the process, there are two things you can do. One, respiratory sinus arrhythmia, where you can literally slow down your heartbeat in real time by having short but big inhales and slow exhales, particularly through your nose, which may sound something like this. Two, exercise. It can be sprints, it can be anything. You don't have to do it regularly, but you want to do it until you feel exhausted, like for each exercise. At this point, you'll get endorphins, which are the feel-good hormones, quote-unquote, and you'll just want to relax and maybe not feel like coping with stuff again to deal with the real issue. And don't, don't take meds or LSD to deal with this. Like, we all know it's bad. We all know they're unsustainable. Bye-bye!